What is going on, Punkin Nation? And welcome back. It's been a while since we have done mod spotlights. Today we got a short one. Uh, I want to thank you guys for the support. And on the community post, uh, the one person that disliked it, whatever. You can't you can't fix everybody's fucking brains these days. So whatever. I hope you guys are doing well. I know the entire world is at crisis. I cannot say that word legally. So we're not going to talk about it on this channel. I'm going to be family friendly as possible like YouTube wants me to. So just stay healthy, guys. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face or don't touch your butt, then your face. So please don't be one of those people. And don't be one of those people that are making grocery stores lose all of their product because you pretendingly sneezed on them. Don't be one of those idiots, please. That's all I'm going to say about the virus. That's it, you know. So, let's be smart, guys. Don't eat a bat because bats are poisonous. To the guy that ate it in China, go fuck yourself. I hope you die. Alright, so today we're going to be looking at the final version of the F-Series from the Rental Buck man himself. He's been an awesome friend so far. You guys have definitely seen that in my videos. I'm hoping to get him in some recordings. I've been in one of his videos. Seeing his face reveal was amazing. Like, he, he's a very cool person. Don't want to sound strange or anything, but... He'd be a cool friend to have in real life. So we're going to test the tow quality here. We're on the uh, tractor pull map. I wonder, what is a good map to do this? my mod spotlights on? Well, half of the time I'm doing trucks. So you guys will be seeing tractor pulls. Maybe I can get some of the guys in on it. I have a confirmation date when my internet will be available. And that's going to be June fifth so think about it gigabyte service to the punkadillon house the video qualities the live streams will be back i'm hoping you guys are excited for that as i am i gotta remember to do this and me not having strong farmer this might kill me i forgot to put it in this folder but Start engine. Alright, so I gotta remember how to start this thing. I think it just goes automatically now. No. There's a way to start it. That's mouse. G doesn't do anything. Oh, there we go. It's X. It won't be a true test because I don't have somebody in the seat. But let's see how far it gets. Oh, fuck. We're getting squirrely. We're getting squirrely. Ah, it's going to make it. Oh, we actually made it. Woo! And there wasn't much weight in there. Or actually, I can control it within my truck. Oh, oopsie. I forgot about that. Alright, I'll reset that later, but let's try this again. This is the only vehicle we have today, so... I forgot I can set it up within my truck. And I believe... Somewhere out there, you can get this sled puller out there. I think Expandables modding, but clueless to me, I haven't been in there for a whole freaking year, so. Or what feels like a fucking year. That whole deal was a pain in the ass. Then it had to fucking be. I have never seen the most rudest fucking people in my life until I met that fucking group. Why would, in God's name, somebody get pissed at somebody that's not even their problem? 
And that's what that basically what happened to me. Is that Derek basically got pissed off for me doing something in another group. I'm like, why are you trying to be a fucking guinea, you know, following the fucking world, you know, or being a follower, I should say. I'm trying to get at. Slower with no wheels. Let's try that. So we have maximum weight. This is the... This is the diesel. But this is the non-turbo version. I forgot to say that. And then... Yep, so I can control it from my cab. I'm not sliding, but the thing is sliding. <laughs> so we made it. Nice. So this is the uh, stock tune. Now we gotta let the weight go back. But that's fun. So this is the work truck version. 6.7 XLT. I wanted the XL, but... To get the dually. I guess I should have put it back to an XL. Got my moonroof. Uh, I actually want this in real life. Which if you guys don't know. I've been saving up for at least. Four and a half years. For a F-150. So I'm going to try my best. To get a moonroof. You can get it in XLT. But it's very limited. So we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. I want that long bed too. Because I do not want to deal with a five and a half foot bed. I saw some people trying to haul lumber from Menards, because Menards is right next to work. On my way to work, basically, it's I forcibly have to go that way. There's only two ways into work. So, these people were hauling with a five and a half foot bed, and shit was hanging out the back, and I'm just like, yeah, that's not stable. <laughs> I'll take the six and a half foot bed. So now we have our Lamborghini uh, Huracan. This thing is quick. Holy shit. I'm flying off the map. <laughs> Full interior, you can have a hard top. Oh, perfect. Woo, shit. I would have liked some more detail. If you guys don't already know, there is a Lamborghini factory which I'm wanting to, um, uh, what is it, do some multiplayer stuff with that. If you guys have already learned, I've been playing uh, Satisfied Factory a little too much. I have over 100 hours on that save, and it's been exactly a month. So, kind of taking a break on it. I hope you guys like that. Oh, I can still pick this up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And with this, you should be able to pick it up with a skid steer or forks, essentially. I don't have the uh, modded one where I can adjust the forks, but it looks like it's a standard size or width. And you can put these in the back of the pickup trucks. Perfect. Looks good. Then the trailer. Uh, looks like it was a car trailer at one point. Very nice. Kind of wish that hitch was adjustable or at least a ton of it. So that's going to be the first mod spot. That light in a while. I think I took at least a couple months off. And the reason is I was getting kicked from mod, uh, mod groups and... Yeah, that kind of puts me down. Like, I, I understand, like, people don't care about each other's feelings, but there comes a certain point when you're just getting kicked for no reason. Like, absolutely no reason. Like, the, the fight that I had a, a couple weeks ago, that was private. I did that in privacy. I didn't realize that he was going to share the screenshots. And I can show you my screenshots of what he said to me. He wasn't professional at any means either. So we were going back and forth. And I told him, I said, if you want to talk to me, I'm in my Discord right fucking now. Like, and he pussied out. I don't even have that on screenshots. 
cell for all you people that had kicked me out just before warned I can still go to court and take you guys with me because bullying across state lines is a federal offense what I did to him was nothing wrong because I wasn't I just said a few words and I was gone that's not harassment harassment is repetitively going on with somebody so when you guys are in school and learning all this shit make sure you learn the right stuff because when you get out in the real world no one's gonna deal with your fucking actions harassment definitely by choice it's a a reoccurrence thing so let's let's give an instance let's say in your first block class you have a person constantly bullying you every single day at the same exact time same exact place that is what you call harassment because that is overly uh, occurring the same time now there is a difference between sexual harassment sexual harassment has no buffers no um, what is what I'm looking for uh, no tolerance so if you touch a girl's ass in work environment yes you will be fired right on the spot someone at UPS did get fired for that right on the spot there's no question about that. And no, it was not me. So, right on the qu You may be in a secluded area in your job, but it doesn't give you the right to touch a girl's ass. Even if she wants you to touch her ass, don't fucking do it. Actually, I kind of like Strong Farmer off. Because <laughs> I'm not randomly grabbing vehicles. So, I hope you guys enjoy the Mod Spotlight. I really should become a public speaker. It's just these last few days of just thinking of all the stuff I could say. Like, trust me, I want to go in-depth with this whole situation that we're in. But I'm definitely going to respect YouTube's wishes on making it family-friendly. And be forewarned, guys. 4K videos are not available right now doesn't matter if the YouTuber uh, uploaded it in 4K, you will not see 4K for about 30 days. So, don't freak out, don't get pissed off at any YouTuber, it's just because of all the traffic. So, I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video with more traffic of my videos, but just be forewarned, you're only going to be at 1080p, no 30 frames per second, no 60 frames per second, it stops at 1080p. And I guess we are lucky they could put us down to 480p. Oof, I remember the comments I used to get. And even Mr. Buck himself remembers that. He was, he told me the other day, he was on the other side of the screen at that very moment when people were saying that shit to me. And he's just like, why? He's, he's using what he has. And I couldn't tell you guys enough either. So, like, please please from the bottom of my heart think about what you say before you say it it could be the simple as fact as complaining about video quality so i think from here on out we're doing this whole social distance stuff i hope when we come back everybody's nicer there's no more hate you know there's no more oh girl texted me gone bye see you guys later